when I went to Walmart to speak to their customers about this new ammo ban. Do you have an issue with us being out here? Walmart's associates and staff kicked me out of their parking lot. Walmart's literally got like secret service shoppers coming to, you know, employees in their day clothes coming to tell us to leave. You need to leave. Call me to relations. Okay. First, and I'll tell you what to do. A journalist just simply asking questions about their anti-Second Amendment stances. There they were being very anti-First Amendment, kicking a journalist off their property for simply asking people questions. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Everything yeah. crazy, crazy. We wanted to get the opinions of gun shop owners in the wake of Walmart's new decision to ban ammo sales and gun sales entirely. Let's go ahead in and see what these gun shop owners think about Walmart's decision. This is Millie Weaver and we are here at Precision Shooting in Youngstown, Ohio. This is a small mom and pop gun shop. Let's go ahead in and see what these gun shop owners think about Walmart's decision. Now, from a mom and pop shop's perspective, what do you guys think about this move that Walmart's making? For us, it's a great move. Um, they've, they sell ammo everywhere in the country at very low prices. And we try to keep our prices as fair as we can. Um, but by them closing out of that, that market, it opens up the mark, market for stores like us. Really, that's actually not that bad. No. I mean, that's really a small difference. And plus, people would be able to support mom and pop gun shops that actually you have a, a pretty wide variety of guns here. You guys obviously respect the Second Amendment, whereas Walmart is really pushing for gun control. They were actually sending letters to the White House demanding that President Trump enact gun control measures. Isn't that crazy? It is. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a sad thing that a place that can't see a person walking in with a semi-automatic rifle can catch that case of water going out the front door, but they don't, they don't want to protect you and they don't want you to be able to protect yourself. Are you guys looking forward to an increase in traffic? Oh, sure. Um, we received 40 phone calls yesterday just on ammunition. We're going to triple what we carry here. Wow. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Is that more than what you usually get? Oh, absolutely. Um, that is, we would get a couple phone calls a day if we had a certain ammunition or another. But for us to get 40 calls in a day asking about different ammunitions is an incredible jump. Wow. So it looks like Walmart banning ammo is only going to help more small mom and pop gun shops continue to provide excellent ammunition and guns to Second Amendment loving Americans. Literally two blocks down the street, there's a small mom and pop gun shop from this Walmart, yet Walmart thinks that by banning ammo sales, gun sales, and asking people not to open carry in their stores, that somehow they are going to prevent a mass shooting situation. So let's go talk to some of these Walmart shoppers to see how they feel about Walmart's new anti-gun move. What do you think about Walmart recently banning ammo sales? Oh yeah, that, they, should, they should still sell it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that ain't right that they would quit selling that. I disagree with it. I don't think they should not sell ammo or guns. I think that's our right to buy them, so. Do you think by Walmart not selling ammo that that's gonna keep people from getting ammo and guns? God, no, nah, not at all. Do you think that by Walmart banning guns, they're actually going to somehow make their customers safer? No. If somebody wanted to buy a gun, he'd be buy it include Walmart, you know, sell it, or some gun shop, and even a baby buy a gun, you know? Somebody who got money and say, I want a gun, he'd be able to buy it. What do you think about them asking people not to open carry anymore? Uh, I'm a Second Amendment believer, so they should have guns and ammo available at Walmart. I don't want to see a gun. Yeah. <laughs> so people can still conceal carry, though, so yeah, you might well, just not know. I might not, not see it, but I don't, I'd rather not see it. They can yeah. keep their butt and keep their jacket zipped up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not 100% sure how I feel on that. 
I, I personally, I feel kind of like you should be allowed to carry. I understand why you're not in school and things like that, but in Walmart, especially because crap happens, things go down. So, I don't know. They should. I feel like they should probably let you. People go on these stabbing rampages, yet Walmart still sells knives. <laughs> Do you think that if someone were to come in and, God forbid, decide to do a mass shooting, that they would follow the rule of no open carrying? Probably not. Yeah. No, I don't think so. You know, it's big propaganda in TV, like Democrat, you know, oh, you know, we need ban and the weapon and listen, so people kill each other under here and go and be killed today and what no matter what you do it be somebody be go crazy and start shooting, you know. Do you think that if they're gonna try to restrict people's ability to defend themselves that maybe at least they should offer some kind of armed security? Yeah, yeah if they're gonna do that then they should definitely have like an armed, you know, an officer or something. They should have that in either way. You need to leave. Call me to relations. Okay. First. And I'll tell you what to do. Okay, so Walmart is kicking us out of their parking lot now. They don't want us to ask people questions about Walmart's new anti-gun policies. Uh, we're just asking people what they think about Walmart's new gun bans, where they're going to be banning ammunition sales. What do you think about that? Well, I'm a system manager for the facility, so I have no comment. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I talked to some local gun shop owners, and they seem to be pretty happy about it because they're going to get increased well, yeah. traffic. Yeah, they're, they're going to get more money out of it, so they're happy with that. We are here at another gun shop, Elite Tactical Firearms and Training, here in Youngstown, Ohio. What do you think about Walmart recently banning ammo sales and finalizing that they are no longer going to sell handguns either? I don't think it's going to influence the business industry at all. Uh, it's going to be no different than when Dix decided to stop selling AR-15s and handguns. Do you think it's going to be good for mom and pop gun shop owners? I think we'll see a little bit of an upswing from it, yes. I see you have some knives for sale here, and these knives are a lot smaller than the knives that are sold at Walmart, and they literally, yours are even behind a glass here. This is behind glass. The Walmart knives... They're just hanging up all around. Some of them like 80, 90 cents. Yeah. And you can just pick up those kitchen knives and people could go stab someone if they wanted at Walmart. But yeah. no one seems to be concerned about that. That's just because that's something that we use every day. I mean, anything could be a weapon, but people don't want to realize that. They just want to blame it on one specific thing. Is the AR-15 really the scariest weapon that could do the most damage? Absolutely not. It's a Keltec KSG 12 gauge. Uh, this holds 12 rounds of 12 gauge. Uh, you, so you put 12 rounds of double up buck in here, and I will guarantee you 12 hits will be 12 fatalities. Nice. Yeah, little rifle, huh? Wow. It's just as simple as that. Uh, the 12 gauge. Double up buck is designed to remove meat from bone. Um, basically, if you hit somebody with it, it's going to be detrimental, let alone the psychological aspects of what you're going to see around it. I don't think banning ARs is going to solve anything um, besides the political frenzies it started and everything else. It's a semi-automatic rifle. You have a, it's very, they're very easy to operate. Then they're very, you could change pretty much anything on them, and they're very low recoil. That is why they are so accepted. You could use it from anything from uh, groundhog hunting, prairie dog hunting, up to coyote hunting. And anybody that really follows any type of outdoor news in Ohio knows we have a huge coyote problem right now. We've seen a big upswing in ARs among coyote hunters because of the fact that that 5.56 ammo is cheap, the rifles are cheap, they're low recoil, and they're just easy to operate. Walmart has not purchased any new ammo yet. Correct. They're going to sell, gonna out, whatever. sell out whatever they have left right, right now. So they technically haven't ceased ammo sales completely, but whatever's there, they're selling it off, and then that's going to be gone. But that's the other thing. If yeah. they were so concerned about this and everything, why didn't they just cease operations right then and there on the spot and say, we'll take the hit on it, we'll just scrap all the ammo we have here, and, and we'll take the loss. If you're so concerned about selling ammo, then you should have scrapped what you had at that point in time and called it a day.
That's a good point. If they were so concerned about safety, mm -hmm. why are they continuing to sell it uh, until they sell out of it? I don't know how they think this could be a good idea. Dick Sporting Goods tried this, what, last year, two years ago, and look at their stock. Uh, all they did is lose money. Same thing's gonna happen with Walmart. People aren't gonna be happy about this. They will stop shopping at Walmart because of it. If you liked the video that you just watched, please support me directly at Millie Weaver at Subscribestar. You will also gain access to exclusive Millennial Millie content that only my subscribers will have access to. You can also support me by going to InfoWarsStore.com and making a purchase. Your support helps fund our fight against the globalists and the fake news lying media. Serving with InfoWars is a great honor but I still need my morning coffee. And luckily, our break room at the InfoWars headquarters is stocked full of high quality InfoWars store Patriot Blend coffee. Grown in the high mountains of Southern Mexico, the Chiapas farmers grow 100% organic non-GMO coffee at the ideal altitude for the perfect cup. A robust coffee with great flavor and mild acidity. There has never been a more important time to support InfoWars. So if you love coffee, and if you want to fight for freedom, then you can help. Order now at the InfoWars store. Sign up for AutoShip and get your own high quality supply of Patriot Blend coffee delivered right to your door at InfoWarsStore.com.